All right, first and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. I'd like to say salutation, peace, and love to the elect that's around the four corners of the um, world. Basically, I'm going to do a quick lesson on, man. Basically, just, um, hey, we got to we got, we got endure to the end, man. You know, that's what it's all about, man. You know, my, um, no matter how you feeling, man, no matter what you're going through, man, you know, just, just got to hold on, man. You know, um, the first scripture I'm going to get is on Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And this you have a shot talking himself, man. You know, I'm gonna get the word um, get that word labor. And I'm gonna get the word heavy laden right there. Strong's G twenty eight seventy two, copy out, copy out, copy out, which means uh, to to grow weary, tired, exhausted with toil or burdens or grief, uh, to labor with wearisome effort to toil of body of bodily labor, to work hard to feel fatigue to be weary. Right, so you have a shot said, um, coming to him, all that are la uh, that labor and are heavy laden, he's he gonna give us rest, man. You know, because we in this flesh, man, you know, and we have to go through our day to day, man. So you get tired, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna feel tired, you know. You're gonna feel fatigued, man. You're gonna feel woe out, man. But these scriptures is for our comfort, man. You have a shot said, he's gonna give us rest, man. That's who the rest is for, those who are heavy laden, man. You know? And I'm gonna get that word on heavy laden. Strong's G fifty four twelve. Fartizo. Fartizo. Uh, fartizo. Which say metaphorically to load one with a burden. Of rights and unwarranted precepts, right, man? Because um, like the scriptures say, man, in Ecclesiastes chapter one, man, which was much wisdom come as much sorrow, man. You know, so because you know, if it was up to us, we'll want to be saved. We'll be we'll want to be delivered right now, man. But it's all on you have a by shim, you have a shy, man. You know, it's all on. The time, like he said, he had met, set the times in order, man, and he not gonna move them, man. You know, even when he said he he gonna cut those days um short for the elect's sake, man, as no flesh would be saved, it's still a point and set time, and he already set, man. You know, so we just have to be patient and wait, man. You know, um, let me get the word rest too. We have some more definitions for that word heavy laden. Um, in the Strong's definitions, i.e., it say figuratively, to overburden with ceremony or spiritual anxiety. Uh, heavy laden, man. Right, man. Because we know the truth, man. And, and we want to be delivered, man. But we, you know. We running this race, man, but we got to run this on um, race with patience, man. You know, got to got to get your pace. You know, in the race, man. You know, it, it's different levels of running, man. You, you know, you job. You, you might even um come to a point to where you are almost walking, man. But the, the key is to keep going, man, and not stop and don't give up, man, and don't look back, man. Just keep pressing forward, man. You know. I think it's a little more in the Strong's. Now let's see. I'm gonna keep on uh, read verse twenty. More read verse on uh, Matthew eleven, verse twenty-eight and twenty. 
I'm going to read down to verse 30. I'm going to read verse 28 again over though. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Let me see what that word rest got right there in the Greek. All right, man. So, um, you know, you have a while, you have a shot. going to give us that rest, man. You know? Even while we're in the flesh, man, he still give us points to where he give you time to rest, man. You know, we just have to take it, man. Sometimes you just have to get away, get away from everybody, man. You know, it ain't all of, it ain't about standing in the scriptures 24-7, man. You know, going to that scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, man. It say, he that striving for the um, masteries is temperate in all things, man. Sometimes you just have to get away and just meditate, man. Just relieve yourself, man, you know. Because you you will get um you will get that spiritual anxiety, man. Going back into that heavy laden, man. Um Strong's G three seventy three. Anapao. Anapao. Anapao, this is the word for rest. It's a to cause or permit one to cease from any movement or labor in order to recover and collect his strength, man. You know. So you have a shot, give us that now. We we get that now, you know. But in the kingdom, we gon' we gon' this gonna be a, we gonna have that continuously rest, man. But we're, even now, he give you that on um, like it's uh, going back into it said to cause or permit one to cease from any movement or labor in order to recover and collect his strength, man. You know, and this going into now, man. Because in the kingdom, we gon' we not we not gonna get tired, man. We gonna have those immortal bodies, man. So this for right now, we just got to take that time to do it, man. You know. To give rest, to refresh, to give one self rest, to take rest, to keep quiet of calm and patient expectation. Come. Come, that's basically it on that, man. You know, now I'm going to read verse, on, verse 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And you should find rest unto your souls. Right, man. That's talking about now, man. You know, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Come. So, going back into that, um, how Shai said he should give us rest, he should give us rest, man. You know, we, we got we to gotta take that time. To 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 um, you no. Know, it's some t you got to be tempered in all things, man. You know, sometimes you just have to get out of the book, man. You know, and just recollect your thoughts and everything. Just meditate on the word, man, and, and that'll refresh you, man. You know, just meditate on basically. Look, no matter how long it take, man, I got to endure to the end, man. You know, because okay, have you said in your mind? You know, we hasten the day, man. But what if what if what if we had to be here another five years, man? You know? You got to have your mind set for that, man. You know? But it's all through the um spirit and strength of your how about shim your how shy, man. You know? You can't over hasten the day. You can't haste the the most high, man. You know, that's when we get that spiritual anxiety. Um This is Isaiah chapter forty. Um, verse 20, so I'm going to start at verse, um, start at verse 28. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, the creators of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. Right, and when, when he give us those immortal bodies, you know, we ain't going to faint not, man. We're not going to be, you know, the most high still going to be the most high. We're not going to be on his level, man, you know. But we're not going to faint and get weary no more, man, you know. Um, verse 29, he giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength, man. Right. So these are promises he made to us, man, you know, to his men, man, because we already know right now this word is only for the elect, man. Only the elect will understand, man, you know. 
So like Second Timothy on um, chapter two verse ten say, man, with Paul the letter on um, Paul basically said to Timothy, we endure all things for the elect's sake, man. You know. But the Most High give it power to the to the faint, man. To them that have no might, He increases strength, man. You know. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. And, and, and right, man. If you don't have this truth, that's what'll happen out here, man. You know, even in the, even when you have this truth, you still get weary and you get faint, man. You know. But hey, that's what these scriptures are for, man. For uh, uh, um. Which I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna let me get that in Romans real quick. Bro. Oh, this is Romans chapter fifteen. I'm starting at verse four. For whatsoever things was written aforetime was written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope come. Right. Through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Which that hope goes right back into the faith, man. Now the now the power now the um now the power of patience and consolation grant you to be like man and one toward another according to the Mashiach Yahweh Shah. That ye may with one man and one mouth glorify the Most High, even the Father of our Lord, Yahweh HaMashiach. Come, man. But the poem was in um, verse 4, man. You know? So all right, this is written for our learning in the time, man. Because, hey, all of the men of the Lord, man, they hasten that day, man. You know? But, hey. Hey, they, they didn't see it, man. But now they back in their lots. And, and, and it's for this last time, man, you know, and, and and they finally gonna see the promise that was promised, man, you know, that promise that was promised to Abraham, man, Isaac and Jacob, man, you know, um, this is verse 41, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not be faint, man, right. Um, right, man, because this word is our comfort. It's our strength. This word is the comforter, man. Hey, but you still gonna get weary in this you still gonna get weary in this truth, man. You in the flesh, man. You in the body, man. So don't think it's some strange thing, man, you know. You just gotta keep going and keep going, man. You know, in this race, man. You can't give up, man. You know, no matter how long it takes, you gotta have that in your mind, man. No matter how long this thing takes, man. The key is not giving up, man. Just keep pressing forward, man. Do not stop, you know. Um, it's Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Let me read down to um let me read down to verse 3. Wherefore sin, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. And what witnesses? And what was that great cloud of witnesses going back to um, Hebrews chapter 11, man? The promise you have about Shem and Hal Shai made to all the men of the Lord, man. You know, which they didn't get to see it, man. You know, but they pressed forward and, 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 and they passed on in this truth, man. You know, but now they back and they lots and they reincarnations, man. And they finna see that promise that was promised, man, thousands and thousands of years ago, man. You know. Uh, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Man, that word patience goes into long suffering. Which, let me get that word patience right there. Let's see. Um, you just have to set your pace in this truth, man. You can't. Try to set your pace according to nobody else, man. You know, you just gotta get your pace and and and, 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 and you know, go with your pace, man. You know.
Oh, and this is the patience. Strong's G, 5281. Hupamane. 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 It's a steadfastness, constancy, endurance. Right, man. That's that patience, man. You got to endure, man. In the New Testament, the characteristics of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety by even the great trials and sufferings. Huh, a patient, enduring, sustaining perseverance. Huh. Huh, that's basically it on this. Um, this is verse 2. I'm going to read verse 1 again. Uh, Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, man. Right? So, basically, all those witnesses and the men of the Lord we had to come for us, man. You know, that, that I, hey, all that, when we can read about them, that was written aforetime for our comfort and consolation that we might, ha and we might have patience. Basically, paraphrasing, man. And, you know, until you have about you and have a shot to deliver us, man. Let us lay aside every weight. And the sin which doeth easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking until you have a shy, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High, man. Right. So we have to look into your house shy, man, and look at what he went through, man, you know. And he's still waiting for his enemies to be made his footstool, man, you know. So we just have to wait, man. We have to wait, man, you know. Hey, but we're going to get weary, but that's who he gives strength to, man, you know. I'm going to get that word, um, get finisher. So he is the author and finisher of our faith. Well, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get uh, Arthur first. Strong's G, 747, Archegas, Archegas. Archegas, which it says the chief leader, the prince of Hamashiach, one that takes the lead in anything and thus affords an example, a predecessor in a matter, a pioneer. Come, right, man, you know. So he the author of our faith, man. He the chief leader, so he's our, he, he, he our example, man, you know. Like I said, by him going through what he did, he gave us the strength to go through, man. But we have to patiently, you know, because even when you have a shot, man, then he get weary and that when, when it was time for his, 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 when it was time for his, um, when basically it was time for him to die for the sin of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect first, man, you know. He got weary, man, but the Lord sent the angel to strengthen him, man, to go through with what he had to go through, man, you know. Um, this is finisher. Strong's G, 5051. Delio Tace. Delio Tace. It's a perfecter, one who has in his own person raised faith to its perfection. And so set before us the highest example of faith. Come. Huh. Right, so he's so back in verse 2, looking unto you have a shot, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, and what was that joy set before him, man? You know, all things are gonna be put under him, man. But he had to go through, he had to he had to take his cross and bury it, man. And how much more the men of the Lord, we suffer with him, we should reign with him, man. You know? Um, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, 
and to sit down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. For consider him that endures such con contradictions of sinners against him, lest ye people, even as there. Verse 3 again, for consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds, man. Right, so that's what we have to look into, man. You have a shot, the art and finish of our faith, man. You know? Um, like it, um, going back to verse 3, for consider him that endures such contradictions of sinners against himself. At least you be weary and faint in your mind, man. Come. So we got to look at what you have Shad went through, man. Basically, man. You know, he was falsely accused and all that, man. You know, but that was for the perfection of our faith, man. That was the, for the, that he, was, that he did that to, 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 um, to finish our faith, man. To raise our faith to that level of perfection, man. You know, so all that was for an example for us, man. Because no matter how long this thing take, man. You're going to get weary. You're going to get tired, man. The key is to keep going, man. You know? But like you have, should I say, you give you that rest. You have to have time to go and get away, collect your thoughts, and, and get yourself spiritually revived, man. Get yourself physically revived, man. You know? Um, get one more scripture and I'm going to end it, man. Matthew chapter 24. We start at verse 12. And because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right, man. So it's going to get worse out here, man. And that iniquity is going to abound, man. It's going to be here, man. And it ain't going to go nowhere, man. So the love of many going to wax cold. But guess what? Verse 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved, man. So that's what it's all about, man. We got to endure to the end, man. You know? And through the Spirit, man, I just want to do this video, man. Lord, we are looking at edify brothers, keep brothers, build brothers up, man. You know? Because it's going to get weary, you know? You don't feel faint, man. But that's who the Lord gives strength to those men, man. You know? We the men of the Lord, man. We in these physical bodies, man. You know? So we're going to go through it, man. We're going to go through out with our, you know, Everything was written for an example, man. So when you go through it, you'll know how to handle it, man. You know? Hey, and with that, man, uh, first and foremost, once again, man, our praises go to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. The true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. You know, double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, man. You know? And salutation, peace, and love to the elect that's around the four corners of the world, man. You know? Men, women, and children, man, you know. Starting with that 144,000, man, you know. And hey, with that, man, brothers, just stay strong, man, you know. Hey, you got, hey, if you strive for the masters, you got to be tempered in all things, man, you know. In which those just that masters go into the kingdom, man. If you strive for the kingdom, you do it lawfully, but be tempered in all things, man. You got to know when to fall back, when to get away, man, and when sometimes just... Think, man, and meditate, man, you know? And with that, man, I'm going to say Shalom, man.